Hey, today I'm gonna take you to one of the best supermarket in Japan. Very cheap, Gyoma Super. In English, it means a retail supermarket. Let's go inside and take a look what you can see in there. Let's go inside and see what we can buy. Okay, here we have some soba noodles and some ramen. And here's the best. Watermelons are super expensive in Japan. And this is a square-shaped watermelon. Japan is very famous for this shape watermelons. And also we can get half cups for like 498 yen and some pears. Actually, this pear is really delicious. And some peaches. Apples for 980 yen so delicious and also we have very expensive grapes but let me say they are very juicy and the farmers took very good care to make this kind of big and juicy grapes i think that's one of the reasons that fruits are really expensive in japan also this is some plum yep it's plum fruits 490 yen i don't think it's cheap also and here we have super expensive mangoes. If you are from a tropical country, this will be a magic for you. Also some oranges. Yeah, oranges are so tasty in Japan. Really yummy and juicy. And also some melon. Yes, it's 780 yen per each, which is really expensive. And here's some avocados. Okay, if you are coming from a tropical country, this is very expensive for you. But nothing to do in Japan. Fruits are expensive. And I think this is some ash plantain and some tamarind. Actually, this is very useful for South Indian and Indian cuisines. Okay, don't ask me what is this. Even I have no idea. But is this vegetable? And also we have some really nice and beautiful sweet corn. Yeah, it looks really great. And some asparagus. Okay, I'm not a really fan of asparagus. Also some leaves and yeah, this is some okra. Actually, it's cheap. And look at these tomatoes. See how round and nice and beautiful they are so nice and large and just for 398 yen and some pineapples and some green onions this bag is one kilogram and very useful for japanese restaurants since they use a lot of them and some peeled and clean garlic which is very easy for restaurant staff never want to clean garlic again and some prepared salad packets yeah also we have red bell pepper like this which is super cheap actually some eggplants for 198 yen and some green chilies for 298 yen this green chili is very helpful for south indian and south asian people so this is kind of a treasure for south asian people and it's really cheap. Just some garlics. Yeah, this garlic is just 98 yen. And some sweet potatoes for 398 yen. And some bad mushrooms. Actually, it's really cheap. Some carrots. 298 yen. I'm gonna take this one to my bucket and some potatoes like I don't know how to weigh this but it's like one pack 298 yen and a big bag of onion for 498 yen now let's go and see the fish section these are some fish eggs and this is how we can buy fishes in Japan usually cut and cleaned and skinned so very easy for all the housewives in Japan you don't have anything to do just take them 
wash them and just cook them. So these fish cuts are really expensive because they are just made for sushi. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. And this is some salmon pieces made for sushi. So this is another reason that fish is really expensive in Japan because they are just prepared for sushi and sashimi. And these cuts are actually really nice for breakfast. I usually take them. And this is unagi. Actually, it's very common in this time, this summer season. It's really expensive, but worth to give a try since it's tasty. Yes, it's expensive. And some other type of fish. Actually, I'm not sure what are the types of fishes but it's really easy to cook. So this one seems like a pretty nice deal. The size is big and the price is cheap. So I'm gonna take this to my bucket. And some seafood items like crabs and seashells. What else we have? Yeah, some big shrimps. I'm not a fan of seafood. Some cleaned shrimps. And also we have salmon fish eggs. We usually say fish roe. And this is really helpful for Japanese people in Japanese restaurants. We see them so often. And some octopus. Yes. People can make takoyaki from this. another types of shrimp and some seaweed if you like them i'm not a fan of seaweed and also we can see some crabs like fresh crabs not frozen ones and this is the best part this is sushi this is actually a party pack you can see how beautifully cut them and how what are the colors are so bright and nice looks so fresh actually this is actually very cheap because usually if you go to sushi restaurant you have to pay so much money more than this and yeah i'm not a very big fan of sushi but let's say this looks really beautiful so clean and so fresh and there are a lot of varieties you can select. See how beautiful they are, like picture perfect. Like marbles, right? Yes, they are so beautiful. I would like to take one of them and keep in my cabinet. I think this is Maguro, which is tuna sushi. and some salmon sushi made from salmon fish and uh, some shrimps yeah this made from shrimps it is shrimp sushi the thing is actually nothing has cooked so it is so fresh you can just enjoy the flavors as they just came from the sea. So nice, so nice, yeah. And next we are going to see some prepared food sections and this is some pizza for 980 yen. So cheap. Actually, yeah, more types of pizza. And this is yakitori. In, in Japan, we say this yakitori. Very famous food in Japan. This is kind of a party pack. That's why it's kind of expensive. But actually, it's not expensive. And this is what we call bento, which is lunch boxes in Japan. See the price and the size. So this is completely inexpensive bento comparing with the other bento we can see in other supermarkets gyomu super bento is really really cheap and beautiful 
and the size is pretty decent. You can find so many varieties of bento, like chicken and fish and fried fish. And this one is some salmon bento. This is 590 yen. And yes, 390 yen. Another egg and fish bento. And now let's go to the meat section. This is some beef and some quality beef cuts. They are kind of expensive, but if you compare the prices with other supermarkets, I think this is pretty cheap. This is very good cuts of really nice and quality beef. You can see the color and the texture. Beautiful. Yeah, we have lots of more other quality types of fish. And this is some inexpensive beef stripes. Um, I'm not sure what I'm looking at actually. And barbecue me okay I, i'm not sure but it's also some parts of beef cuts maybe made for barbecue okay we have barbecue packs over here and this is a section of pork actually they are seasoned so all you have to take them and just cook these are unseasoned packs of pork i think they are pork chops yeah some pork chops over here and yeah much larger versions of pork chops and some pig feet I think this is kind of a famous food in some parts of Asia Actually, chicken is very inexpensive in Japan. Chicken is the only meat that you can buy in bulk for cheap price. So this pack actually has one, two, three, four, four breasts of chicken and it's 764 yen. And these are some chicken thighs. It is a little expensive than chicken breasts, but the taste is really good. And let's go to the milk section. Okay, this is most tastiest milk in Japan. It's expensive. If you go for more pretty cheap versions, you can buy something like this. And my favorite coffee in Japan. <laughs> okay, this one is like kind of really cheap. In this place, if you go to convenience stores, these uh, coffees are kind of expensive. And some yogurts. This is the desert section. Yeah, we have Sweden yogurts over here. And yeah, this is some pudding. A lot of types of pudding for good price. And my favorite section, cheese. Yeah. This place has really good and nice quality cheese for really good price. Some pots like shredded cheese. This is my favorite cheese actually in this place. And some tofu. Yeah, very unique in Japan. And yeah, some fried tofu for 68 yen. And this is soba. Actually, this kind of one kilogram soba packets used in uh, Japanese restaurants. And some kimchi. Yeah, one kilogram kimchi. I'm not sure about the quality, but it's really cheap according to the price, like 338 yen. And if you like Thai food, this is the section for you. I mean, they have all the sauces that you need to make some Thai food this is sweet chili sauce and some oyster sauce and yeah I don't know there are so many other types of sauces over here but this is this is the Japanese food section so if you make ramen and some soup broth all this section they sell the soup broth for ramen or for shabu shabu this kind of thing this is to you to you and some ponzu and 
yeah excuse my pronunciation if i make wrong this is miso soup base which is so essential in japanese restaurants there are so many types of miso soup and this is really essential part of japanese food seaweed so there are so many types of cuts and varieties of prices if you eat onigiri this is the cover of onigiri the seaweed part and this is the part for the baking lovers you can buy the baking powder and yeast and some icing sugar and of course some wheat flour and this is kinako which is a japanese roasted soybean powder we use it for like desserts and so many other cooking stuff it's very healthy and this is some bonito flux in japanese it's katsuboshi this is 500 gram pack good for restaurants i don't need that big katsuboshi for me so i go for this three gram 20 packets which is pretty decent for normal house use I like bonito flax and yes this is life serving for all the housewives in japan curry base you can buy a lots of styles and flavors and textures of curry base in japan all you can do is like take the vegetables and add one cube and add some water and then you have a nice and restaurant style curry for your lunch and this is my favorite golden curry And here we have some black pepper seeds for 178 yen and also some powdered version of pepper and other spices and this is like Italian food section you have pizza sauce for 280 yen and olives and some baked beans a lot of canned food and some pickled cucumbers okay this is like very good place for south asian people we have all the types of chilies not so hot like the chili we have in south asia but let's say it's life serving because it's pretty hard to buy this kind of dry chili this is actually made for kimchi and uh, some japanese food so this is just dry chili so you can fry them or make any style that you like i highly recommend these chili products so nice and some canned fruits what else we have okay this is my favorite jam strawberry jam and it's like 248 yen with tax it's like 267 yen here are some coffees it's not much special like every day you can see this from every supermarket same price and some dishwash i want one of these so i'm gonna take this and also some sponge I'm gonna take one of these two since it's just 78 yen which is cheaper than 100 yen shops and this is a salad dressing onion flavored it says tamanegi which is onion flavored salad dressings and much essential sugar for 189 yen with tax and this is really essential if you don't know how to cook this is some packed rice all you have to do is just open a pack and microwave it and you just have your own rice packet and there are some more types of rice packet and next you need this this is curry these curry packets are so helpful 
you don't even need to cook them just you need to open the package and then the microwave it and put on your rice so you are ready to eat so you don't need to cook anymore if you're in hurry or if it's especially if it's a disaster season people buy them bulk and keep it because you don't have to cook it anymore and since there are so many flavors you will never get bored of them and next we are going to see some frozen food section like this is some crepes and yeah we have some pancakes over here some prepared frozen waffles also india's favorite chapati and paratha i really love them usually it's pre-cooked so all you have to take them and just put into the frying pan and you can just have your favorite chapati or your paratha so i'm gonna take this one today i'm gonna make chapati and some american style bagels frozen bagels and i think this is japanese i'm not so sure yeah beef and cheese pies this is some parts for make takoyaki i think and some lasagna some pizza crusts and some packed soba so this is like instant soba soba noodles and there are a lots of flavors for this yeah a lots of types of soba and also packed ramen this is cup noodles in japan one of best selling instant food in japan there are so many flavors of them and also some soup instant soup base for corn and some almond milk some coca-cola for 80 yen 700 milliliters also some coconut milk very essential for taiwanese and south asian cuisines there are a lot of types of coconut milk over here but i prefer this expensive version and some pepper with a pepper crusher and there are a lot of spices belongs to so many countries A lot of dips and some tacos yeah my favorite this is taco shells actually and next my second favorite nut section here are some walnuts and some mixed nuts this place is really good to buy some nuts because the quality is really good and the price is inexpensive so i usually buy my nuts from here Yeah, there are so many types of them. Some pistachios. And next we are going to see some granola. If you like breakfast cornflakes, this is the place for you. Really inexpensive and so delicious. I usually buy them from here. And this is frozen vegetables kind of life-saving for housewives in Japan and not so healthy but some sweet treats if you like some pokies and some biscuits and a tons of snacks yeah Japan is nothing without these snacks they're so tasty not so healthy but 
you will love them once you try it. Yeah, there are a lots of varieties over here. And some biscuits. And next, the most important section of Gyomazupa. This is the liquor section and some alcohol section. Some wine for just 850 yen. And also you can buy six pack of Asahi Super Tri beer for just 1320 yen. And this is like one bottle price is like 299 yen. Yes, world famous Asahi Super Dry Beer is very cheap in Japan. Some beer for autumn season. And this is lemon sour. See how cute it is. This one is so tasty. You don't even feel that you are drinking alcohol at all. It's just 598 yen per bottle. And the can version of lemon sour, just for 900, sorry, 131 yen. And some Japanese sake. I'm not sure about the prices. And these are some imported whiskey and some gin. Okay, so today the grocery shopping is finished from here from Gyomazupa. Hope you enjoyed the video and please, please subscribe the channel and hit the thumbs up button. Hope you from another video and thank you very much. Bye for today.